hot off the press. Hayer means no in Turkish. The activist and Green Party politician Mervid Öztürk is hoping to convince the Turkish-German community in her hometown of Wetzlar to vote against a constitutional amendment which would give the president more power. If people are worried about freely expressing an opinion 3,000 kilometers away from Turkey, as an elected Democrat, I can't look away. I'm getting involved because I want to support people here who'd rather vote no. Öztürk was born in Germany. Her parents came here almost 50 years ago to escape poverty and the lack of freedom in Turkey. Today she's worried that Turkey is headed in the wrong direction. And she worries that people in Germany's Turkish community can no longer express opposition without fear. It would be terrible if people were to take revenge after the referendum, in the sense of they voted no, so let's get them. That would be very dangerous. Let's give the taxi driver a flyer. Can I give you this? It's better if you don't. Why? Because you're Turkey's enemies. We just want people to be able to express their opinions freely. But our ministers aren't allowed to campaign here. The PKK is. In this heated atmosphere, Öztürk also defends the German journalist Deniz Yücel, who is currently jailed in Turkey. He interviewed the head of a terror organization, so he supported him. Öztürk finds more support at an event to raise awareness about her no campaign among the local Kurdish and Alevi communities. They are generally more critical of Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan and his plans. Öztürk knows that every vote from Germany will count. The referendum in Turkey promises to be a close vote even though Erdogan's critics in Turkey itself have largely been silenced. Let's not forget Deniz Yücel, that he's in jail in Turkey, that there's no independent judiciary anymore. One more reason to vote no. The town of Flörsheim is an hour away. This is where the journalist Deniz Yücel grew up and went to school. Worried about his safety in jail, his parents are refusing to talk to the media. The same holds for most of the German-Turkish community here. Only one shop owner is willing to talk to us about Yücel's detention. Some people say it's right. Others say it's wrong. Right because he interviewed people from a terror organization, why did he do that? That's a problem for the Turkish state. But I think everyone's responsible for their own actions. Other locals in Flörsheim don't really understand why some people of Turkish descent are supporting Erdogan. They grew up here. How could they believe these things? I guess they just watch Turkish TV and think that what's being said there is the truth. Turkish newspapers are widely available in Germany, including the pro-government daily Sabah. It is a vocal critic of anyone who opposes Erdogan and says that Deniz Yücel is a terrorist. The paper's German office is in Frankfurt, but we received no response to our queries about its coverage of the Deniz Yücel case. Mervit Öztürk is well aware that she is on the radar of the pro-government media. As an activist and politician, she's used to being criticized for her views. But still, she was shocked when Sabah denounced her as a traitor. Like many German-Turkish politicians, she's also becoming more worried about her safety. I'd prefer to live without police protection. I still believe I can, but of course I'll seek advice. I hope what's happening now doesn't become the norm here in Germany. She refuses to give up the fight for democracy in Turkey. In her hometown of Wetzlar, she's received either with a non-committal shrug or sometimes outright rejection. 
The referendum will take place in April, and Öztürk has no plans to give up. A lot will have to be done after the referendum, too. We have to establish a culture of debate, political education. We need a respectful culture of debate. We need that here very badly. In the meantime, she'll continue to call on her fellow Turkish citizens in Germany to vote no in the referendum and campaign for their right to express their opinion without fear, something that's become almost impossible in Turkey.